Doomsday is coming, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm totally looking forward to other games too, like Halo 5 and Mirror's Edge, Catalyst, and I'm, excuse me, I'm interested in what the new Call of Duty is going to be like from the multiplayer standpoint, since it's the first time where Call of Duty, it, Call of Duty is actually going to show off the multiplayer at an earlier time than usual, but at the same time, I don't think I'm going to, you know, be getting it, but I always like to kind of see how the series evolve and all of that stuff. It's so nice to, you know, finally have a new id software game coming soon and finally a new doom game and hopefully things will go well for id and the doom series for the future since if you guys been watching my video since like the beginning or been watching it for a long time you know i'm definitely a, i'm definitely a hardcore id fan and this is quake 2 you're watching and it's so good to play this game again it was definitely nostalgic to play it again and i just felt like playing it since it's been a while and one of the things that i love about Quake 2, and in my opinion, this is one of the things that kind of make Quake 2 feel quote unquote unique compared to other um, id shooters. Is it really feels like a, com a combination of everything that id knows about making quality single player driven experiences. It feels like the definitive id title to me due to just how the game makes me feel like that. But I do believe the new Doom could do the same but also raise the boundaries even higher um, like having multiplayer or other game modes since multiplayer in Quake 2 it's average at best and co-op has never really been that great it is so tacked on but I do feel like it is something that it should do and not and I don't really know if they will but I don't know how many people in today's generation of gaming really um, knows it software as a company and I just think if Doom could take some small influences from um, other id titles and add it into their new Doom game, it's still promoting their older titles and I feel like this could create an incentive for new players to try out the older games. I do want to talk about Wolfenstein The Old Blood and I'm going to be talking a lot of stuff in this video. Um, I haven't really played it as much as I thought I should, but I did beat it and replayed um, the missions a couple, of, a couple of times, and it's definitely the best FPS I've ever played to this date. I mean, to this day, and it's still my game of the year so far for 2015. It's basically an improved version of the New Order with changes and adjustments, but my god, it's so well done and polished. It has everything that I want in an excellent single player driven FPS game. I hope I can talk more about it in depth in the future, but I love the game and both this and the new order really does give me high hopes for um, Doom 2016 or whatever it's going to be called. But the game for Doom specifically, I think it will be awesome. So without a doubt, if you are curious of what my score is for The Old Blood, it is definitely a 10 out of 10. It's just as good as Quake 2 or Doom 2. It's really an amazing game, without a doubt. So, I'm going to talk about E3, and I'm going to specifically talk about Halo 5 and Mirror's Edge Catalyst, since I don't really got much to say for Doom until on Sunday in the US, where I can actually get more information from the internet, since that top 10 Doom video I did pretty much, you know, uh, allowed me to say what I needed to say about the game. But for Halo 5, I'm looking forward to the single player since it is definitely going to be interesting how it's squad based now for camping. I do expect to see footage of it which is going to be fun and I'm not r really sure for multiplayer but I feel like I already got a good idea of what multiplayer is going to be like since I did play the beta but I'm really hoping for a fun campaign experience from the Halo series since 4 was rather disappointing but we're going to see how the 5th one fares. Mirror's Edge Catalyst looks like is going to be awesome too. I'm most likely thinking there will be um, like a single player footage and I really did enjoy the original despite of having flawed moments but it was a great game and I did enjoy what it tried to do so without a doubt a prequel would be something I'm interested in. But yeah, are there any games that you guys are currently interested in other than Doom? Because that's really all I can think of right now. I'm also thinking about taking a, taking a break from first person shooters for a while before the new Halo. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to play a new FPS game and play it blind. So if you think I'm going to stop um, uploading Doom or Quake gameplay, I'm still going to do that. But I'm thinking about 
trying to play a new game that's not a FPS just to take a break from it. I'm currently thinking about trying to get into the Alice series since it is made by American McGee who used to work for id Software and that was like his one hit wonder so I thought it would be interesting to buy the sequel which comes with the original game on 360 and try them both to see how it is. I heard good things about the original although I heard it does got its flaws and I hear a lot of mixed opinions on the sequel. Eventually I'll try both of them to see what they're like once my school quarter is about to be done. That is all I have for you guys and eventually I will upload some live commentary or something just to be more active until I see some Doom gameplay in public and I will give my thoughts on that definitely. See you guys later.